Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just gonna do a quick uh, kind of review and upgrade to my dust collection system as you saw in my previous video where I took my uh, rigid shop vac, an old one, it's probably like uh, six or seven years old and it turned into a mini dust collection system for my workshop where I do like little small woodworking and all, I don't need something giant. Um, works great until this happens. So as you can see, the bucket collapses if you know there's uh, a restriction in airflow, uh, meaning the vacuum has tremendous amount of suction power, and if you use uh, and this happened to me when I was uh, sanding the table and the port was a little too small and it wasn't enough airflow, and what happened was it caused the bucket to collapse and it caused all the sawdust to go into the vacuum defeat the purpose of this whole thing and then as I was sawing you know I just kept seeing getting smaller and smaller and like eventually I was like it was pointless so what's the next best thing to do so I came up with actually two upgrades not just one the first one was to figure out you know why is this uh, why is this collapsing so you know I looked at other things or oh, some people say oh you need to put a pressure valve and all that stuff but it, when you put a pressure valve it kinda takes away from the suction power because now there's a hole and there's air coming in and sucking air from the outside kinda defeats the purpose of having a good suction power for a vacuum especially for a workshop uh, for for woodworking you want as good air uh, uh, vacuuming power as much as you can so you get all that dust so uh, what I came up with was this a steel drum it's about 18 bucks uh, I'll put the link down below um, it's metal I forgot the term they use for this it's not the five gallon bucket they don't call it five uh, five gallon uh, uh, bucket this call something else I'll anyways I'll put the link down below so this was the one thing I upgraded to which I'm gonna show you why I went to this and the benefits of this versus using the five gallon bucket from Home Depot or Lowe's so if you guys have this you'll know the top will just snap off it's not really secure onto the bucket there's not that much grip to this bucket so you can slam it down and it'll come back up. So if you if this is off when you try to move it around, you touch the hose and this whole thing just falls off. It's super annoying. The whole thing comes off and you just get pissed off and sawdust everywhere and just piss, you know. You just hurt. Another piece fell off. So we're gonna get rid of this thing. We're gonna put the steel bucket in. It fits very snug into this platform gonna bend over again and put the dust topper on but I want you to hear this ready there's like a little snap there's two clips on this thing that snap in place right so once it snaps in this thing is sitting tight it doesn't move so this is why I like it. It snaps in, it sits tight, it doesn't move, and that's exactly what you want. If you're moving around, you don't want the hose keeps coming off and all that stuff. So, we got that in. Let me push this in. So, uh, let me get the fitting. There we go. This is the fitting that comes from the vacuum into the dust stopper. Another problem that I had was this fitting where the actual vacuum hose you know goes in. 
Now, since the model that I had was an old one, this hose came with the original vacuum. Neither this end or this end fit this piece, right? And I can't find the damn coupler to put this to fit to this. Um, in my earlier demonstration, I was using this hose, which was an extension hose that I had. But this one has, I believe it's a 58 millimeter um, uh, attachment hose. But this part of it, this end is where all the tools are supposed to go, right? This end is where it's supposed to connect to the vacuum or to the port. But this doesn't fit this. So if I put this, it doesn't fit. The only part that fits is the attachment piece where, where it slides in. So that's not good. What to do? Well, simple fix. This. This is a 3D printed part, 58 millimeters in diameter. This is, I just 3D printed it, it took about two hours to print. Uh, it's very sturdy and it actually fits both hose that I have. So this actually fits in here very snugly. The correct end of the hose connects into this. And that's all I need. And everything is working as it's supposed to. So. Um, so the dust stopper works as it's supposed to, as it is intended to. Um, I just didn't like the fact that the uh, it wouldn't clip tightly. Although when you turn the vacuum on, there's enough suction that keeps the top on, um, but it has leaks. You know, so it's not sealed, which is fine. You're not doing anything big or heavy. So you're not running down if you're not running that much dust through your work, then you should be okay. This this thing will work fine, uh, but if you're doing big jobs, it will fill up a lot quicker. So that's the only downside to it. Um, other than that, uh, if you like this, uh, leave your comments down below. If you have any other suggestion, I should have done something differently, or prefer a different product for that matter, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. But for 17 bucks, it's, I think it's a good improvise. Um, unfortunately, for this piece of plastic being $50, it's sort of a overkill on the price. I think uh, the dust stopper should be a little bit cheaper than its price. $50 is a little steep for, you know, uh, made in China plastic. You know, these are all mold plastic, so it, it doesn't, this probably costs less than 3 or $4 to make. You know, from the way it's made. So yeah, 50 bucks, it's a little expensive. There's, there are other, there are cheaper way of making these dust collectors. There's many creative people out there that make uh, these kind of stuff. But if you don't have the time or the patience to, to do it, this is the way to go. Um, I like it, it works, it, it serves the purpose. Uh, it's compact and it does the job. It just I don't understand why, well, probably because my model, uh, my vacuum is a lot older than the new one, so this probably was designed for the newer model vacuums, so that's probably the fittings, why they don't really fit correctly, um, but other than that, I have no complaints, um, but, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys, please leave your comments down below, hit the like and share, uh, till next time, peace out.